welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a day in my summer course and I'm going to just talk to you about college tips. So um, first things first, um, when you're when you're in college, like you have to choose the right college. When you're looking for the right program and you found it, so mine was event management, compare the colleges. I was checking out Humber and I was also checking out George Brown. I chose Humber because it's one of the top colleges in Ontario, you know, so I chose that college so I'm in the program hospitality event management it's two years four semesters so I just want to talk about the tips so choose the right college once you figure out the right college for you um, search up your professors um, number, tip number three search up the courses tip number four check the resources at your college so when you apply and you pay for everything and your tuition the money goes into different resources within the college campus make sure you use those tip number five was to be to like once you have all that done plan everything out so i have my planner here i got this at winners and it's my 2020 planner and i have here i'm gonna open up to a page where it has like so i have my my class course and i have the time here when it starts when it finishes and I basically put that so every day of the week starting from Monday to Friday I have my course the name of my course and the time it starts and finishes and what's due during the whole week so I write that all down make sure you do that this is a really important tip to be successful so this is what I do this is you know this is what everyone does but it's so important I think people need to do this some people have everything on their phone like that's not good you need to write it down manually and it's proven that when you write down things manu manually on paper that you retains information in your brain so make sure you do this so this is what I do to keep organized when I'm in my courses so that's what I do and I have my stuff I have here is my notebook so I got this from the dollar store it says create your own ideas it's really a great notebook and it was really big and really affordable so I, I highly recommend if you're in college and you need big notebooks you can get them at the dollar store and they just have so much paper like it's just and it's so big and it's so spacious for writing I think it's just wonderful so make sure you get big notebooks because you're gonna be writing a lot if you're someone like me who writes in notebooks because again it helps to retain information um, I don't make notes on my computer I honestly I, I will not remember them and I'll have to search for them in the file it's not helpful for me I recommend everyone use this instead and um, right now I just have my homework for my um, for my college course, but um, which is science. But um, I just wanna say like for my program, like I have to go on the website. So I'm gonna go on it now. And there's gonna be a place in every college uh, website that shows you where, like for the course, it shows you like what, what is due and the, and the dates and then additional work. That's what I'm gonna go on right now. And that is what I normally do. So make sure you do this. So make sure that's another tip. Like just make sure you like even if you've written it down already. Like make sure you always go back and continually check what like what work are you going to be working on and when is it due and what other additional of uh, what other additional work is there because it's something we forget. Like we write down some of it, but then we forget the rest. So make sure you're always constantly on top of your work. Like check like that you're on top of your work. And when you're done the work, like check it off. So every time I finish the homework for my, like one week. For each week I check off the work so make sure you keep on track of it so that's just like I said that like, that's what I'm just doing right now so I'm on the page where I get to see what what what, I ha what work I have to do and when does it do I go to the course plans so I'm gonna just turn my MacBook around look you can see that this is this is the modules this is the topics and assignments like readings and assignments and the dates and then additional work I have to do so it is a lot so this is why you need to stay on top of it so I go to today's date which is August 6th I can see okay week of August 3rd I have um, the experience in a concentration camp reading to do and there's more to life than being happy reading to do and that my final test is worth 20% so always check your work okay so now I'm gonna get into doing my homework because I have homework right now so I'm gonna just show you a typical day of how I do my homework in my summer course which is wrapping up on uh, August 10th thank God <laughs> um, you know anyway so for my science course it's called gen ed I have to do a final test so these there's three questions I have to do here 
Um, they're all based on the readings I've been doing. So what I like to do is I like to take my highlighter, make sure you have one. That's kind of given like if you're a student, but anyways. So I like to take my highlighter and I just like to highlight the question. So when you get any type of homework, make sure you're highlighting the question so you know what it's asking. Make sure you know what it's asking and that it stands out. So I'm highlighting the questions. So there's three questions I have to do. So I'm highlighting the ones I'm, ch I'm choosing. So um, I have to do, I have to write basically about, um, I, I already did, sorry, my throat. I did a reading about does the internet make you dumber? Now I have to do the same thing and write those answers again. It's part of my final test. And then I have to do another one. So my second, like my second question is happiness and meaning. So we did a reading about that. I've already highlighted it because that's the one I'm going to do. And then the third question I'm going to do is happiness. It's another reading I did. Make sure when you have questions to do that you highlight each one because it needs to stand out. On, so, you know, and you can always reference back to the question so you know that's what you're going to work on. Because here I have five questions. I'm not going to do all five. It says to do three. So because it only says to do three, I highlighted the three questions so I know that these are the ones that I'm going to work on so I don't get confused with the other ones, right? So this is really important. So now that I've highlighted my three questions, I'm going to open up my work. Um, another tip I'm going to say is work on, so every professor is different, but um, sometimes they'll say work on Word documents, sometimes they'll say work on uh, a Google Doc. I recommend Google Doc. Whenever the professor says work on Google Doc, work on a Google Doc and work on a Word one, whenever they say that. But if you can, try to work on a Google Doc more because it saves your work automatically and Grammarly is allowed to correct your work. And that's another tip as well, just going into it, like use Grammarly to correct your work. Um, I make a lot of spelling mistakes and, um, and every, and you know what, like I'm just doing my work. It's just common, you know, when you work hard, that's what happens. So make sure, you know, make sure you use like whatever the, prof the professor is asking to use, like Word or Google. But also make sure you get Grammarly, like I said. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start this. It says to basically choose three sets of questions. We did that, so I can chalk I can check that off because that's what it said to do. I can do that. And now I have to basically write 300 to 400 words. So I gotta get started on that. I'm highlighting what I have to do. I mean, I'm circling, so I have to do 300 to 400 words for my answers, and it has to be singular, double spaced, and it has to be related to the topic. And so. On those journals I already did, I make sure that um, I'm not plagiarizing. So make sure you don't plagiarize. It goes back with what I said. Use Grammarly for that. But um, make sure you always summarize. So I have to do that. So I'm going to open this in a Google Docs because it's the specific instructions were to use Google Docs. So I'm going to open up my Google Docs. And I'm going to open it up. So this is what my Google Docs looks like. I have my Grammarly on the corner there because I've highlighted downloaded on my Mac make sure you do that um, so I'm just gonna really like just start getting into my homework um, what else was I gonna add on um, so when you're working on when you're working on anything important like make sure you use Grammarly make sure you have someone else who checks your work so that can either be like someone in your program um, who is good with you know editing work or just yeah just have someone in your program like check your work to make sure it's good and you know because you need to revise you know you need to change your work make sure it's better so I'm just gonna get started and I'm gonna just show you like that I'm just doing my homework okay so this I have to write about does the internet make you dumber this is a journal I had to do I already did this so in my notebook I already have the answers written but I'm gonna still um, summarize them into my own words so I don't plagiarize and I'm also going to just change it up a bit like revise so I'm gonna go and find where I wrote that reading about. So here I have it. So see, when I when I wrote the answers, I put the title, Does the Internet Make You Dumber? And I wrote it in marker because, this marker highlighter, because it stands out. And for, I have wrote down all the questions and the answers. And as you can see, I've like highlighted the questions so I know what it's asking for. Another tip, make sure you highlight your questions. You know what you're looking for when you're reading and you're looking for the answer. It's already highlighted, so you know what you're looking for. And when I'm writing the questions and the answers, I put a Q for question, so I know this is the question, and I put an A 
for answers. So I know that this is the question that I'm looking for. Like this is the question I'm doing and I'm looking for the answer for this question. And I have the answer already written. So I know which one's the question, which one is the answer. This is what you, what, this is what students should be doing. This is what works for me. So yeah. So now I already have all my answers. So now I'm just gonna type it out. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But it has to be Like while I study because I'm a Christian. You can see my shirt. I have a Bible verse on it. First Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7. students um, thank you so much for watching my video um, please make sure to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see more of my videos and more videos like this so thank you and bye